All right, I have a screw in the tire. I've already swapped out the tire. This was on the car. I had to swap it out, it flattened it. So now it's in the spare. We're gonna put a plug in it. I thought I would just document. And so you could learn what to do or what not to do based on my little experience here. This is the first time I'm doing this myself, but I watched a couple of YouTube videos and I feel pretty good. So we're just gonna lock this in on the tripod and get to it. So first things first, let's pull this out and see what we're dealing with. Wow, this is major. It's in there. Should have brought a Phillips. Wow, bummer. This is like a brand new tire too, so that's what makes it a bummer. But it's in a good location, I think. Wow, look at that. Holy smokes. You see that? Whoa, so there's some air in it. Look at that. Wow. Let's not lose that. Make sure that doesn't happen again. And now we're gonna patch it up. This is what they had at the store. This is slime. So let's get it going here. And I think this is a good kit to have with you in your car as well. So you can do this if you had to. This is a good setup too. I had it locked in on my spare. A little bit easier to work with. So, oh wow, they, they include one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot, man. Wow, this is gonna help. I'll be probably have this for a long time. All right. So first things first, we're gonna put this through this, and this is what we need the wrench for. Pull that off. It's a little sticky. Well, wow, that's like it's a weird consistency. So we're gonna thread that through. Thread the needle bra. That's not too hard. I thought I was gonna need a wrench, but it looks like I can pull it through with my hand. So it's about halfway. And this is what we're gonna ultimately put through the hole. But first I just wanna ream it real quick. Even though that screw probably did a good enough job, this will just give it a grip, a little grip. And this is like a, it's a weird feeling to purposely puncture this into the tire, even though I already know. I wanna put it through at the same angle I think it was this angle, right? Ugh, that's a weird feeling. Here, let me get that screw back out because I feel like it was in there like this, wasn't it? Yeah, I just want to make sure I don't cause more trouble. So I'll put that in like that. I'm just putting it at the same angle. Ugh, giving it something to grip on. All right, now it's chewed up a little bit, so now it's got a good grip. Wow, that is a weird feeling. <laughs> All right, we got our little gooey goo. I'll set this to the side. We're on top of my little workstation here. Now, the last thing we're gonna need is this rubber cement, and we're gonna put a little bit on, we're gonna puncture that. Now this could be the only thing over time that could end up needing replaced, the rubber cement. A little bit here and here. This is what's going into the tire. This is what's actually ultimately gonna help seal it all in. I have no idea if this is how much to put on here. The videos I've seen, this is kind of how much they put on. The wild world of YouTube. So now you're seeing the first time. This is what it looks like when you do it the first time. The weather's ideal. This would be a lot more difficult if I was doing this underneath a wheel well, because a lot of this would be covered. I think that's enough. I don't know. I mean, they include a bunch of these rubber tabs, so I feel like this glue is kind of designed to stay. Now, from what I've seen, this is like the hard part because this really has to go in. I'm like super paranoid. I want to put as much goo on this as possible. And actually, I kind of feel like I want to just, why not? I don't want to have to do this a lot. I'd rather use the glue now and so it works, especially since this is going to be my new spare tire. I don't want this to be less. I don't want this tire to have a hole in it as well. All right, and now we're just gonna puncture it in and push it down through. Gosh, what a weird feeling. You can kind of hear the grinding. Wow, this is hard. 
Oh man. There it goes. Whew. Wow. There it is. That was weird. It's a weird feeling because you feel the grinding of the metal threads that are in the wheel, the rubber, and it just doesn't feel like a thing you want to do, you know, like puncture something like this into your tire, thinking that you're actually fixing it, but. So you can see that I think it's in a good location as far as it's not on the side here, the sidewall. It's in here pretty good, slightly in on the tread. And I pushed that in pretty thick, pretty far. Definitely is in there. I, you could, you saw. I don't know if you did see, but it, this went all the way into there. So you know that that's that rubber is at least two inches inside. And the idea is that it's going to expand on the inside and on the outside here. So we'll let that dry, and then I'll come back and just trim that off. And that should be good and then I'll put air in it after a little while I think the most important thing is putting this reamer and this rubber thing in at the same angle as the hole in my case it was a slight sideward angle because you don't want to cause more of a, a damage with putting a new hole or a, a wider hole that this might not seal up We got some soapy water. We're gonna put some on here and just see if we got any bubbles. The idea is if you would have air coming through there, it would create bubbles in the soapy water. Ignore the bubbles already in the water. We're looking for new ones. It looks like it's holding. Oh, it's starting to rain. I think we're good. I think we got it. This is one of the reasons I like the Honda and cars that have the full size spare. It can just give you, a, like right now I have the spare on the tire or on the car and it's a full normal tire so I can drive like regular and I still have another backup which is this one now that has the plug. So this will be my spare out kind of, you know, this is better than nothing but it's not as good as no hole at all. So anyways, there it is. Hope that was helpful.